So you're getting into your cast sense journey, but now you need a bit more equipment. But it can be pretty hard to choose the right pair of lets for you because there's so many different ones. You've got high, low, metal, wooden, all at different price points. But in this video, we're gonna go through a simple method to pick the right pair of lets for you so you don't waste your money. So firstly, you might be watching this video thinking, oh, the floor's been fine for me so far. Why might I need to buy parallettes? Well, first, let's go through the reasons why parallettes might actually boost your performance and your training. First reason is fatigue. So have you ever had those long handstand sessions where your joints really just ache after each time you go for that handstand and you really have to roll them out thinking, oh, wow, this is really painful. Well, parallettes can help with this fatigue buildup. So because your wrists will be in a neutral position, they won't be in a flex position, you're going to have less stress going through your wrists as they'll be in this neutral position. So you can actually get more out of your sets if you're not in this kind of uncomfortable position with your wrists. So that's one reason why parallettes might help. The second reason you might need some parallettes is because of better grip. So if you're anything like me, you're doing the handstand planche, L-sit, stuff like that on the floor. Sometimes you might be doing this on carpet or sometimes you might be doing this in the kitchen on tiles. But the thing about these surfaces, guys, is that they're inconsistent. Sometimes they're a bit too slippery or sometimes on carpet it's a bit too much cushion so you can't get the right balance. But if you have parallettes this isn't an issue. Another thing is if you sweat and you're doing this on tiles your hands are going to be really slippery it's going to be hard to balance. But if you're using parallettes especially wooden parallettes they're going to absorb your sweat so you're going to have a lot less issue of slipping. You're going to have better grip that means you're going to balance better get better hold and therefore get stronger. Another reason why you might want some parallettes is with the handstand or hand and push up sometimes you lose balance so you might be falling backwards but the thing is guys when you fall backwards doing a handstand or handstand push up on the floor there's not much you can really do besides change your alignment to keep yourself balanced but the thing is with parallettes you don't have to change your alignment you can keep as straight as you want but use your wrist and forearm strength instead to pull yourself back into alignment this means there's less factors going into your hand balancing so potentially you can hold your handstand a lot better in terms of losing balance and keeping that correct center of gravity over your hands so you might be able to get more out of your sets and therefore get stronger with your handstand push-ups and handstand progression and also lastly by using parallettes you can practice straight bar movements this is something you can't do on the floor and when you move to the high bar or p bars in your local park then you're going to be able to perform your cast tennis moves that you've learned on the floor you can progress them to the parallettes and then do them on straight bars so you see people doing straight bar planches like your favorite cast tennis athletes now you'll be ready and prepped. It won't feel weird to you when you go to your cast tennis park to do that straight bar planche. You'll be used to it. So guys, let's go on to see what kind of parallettes you guys should be buying. So guys, let's waste no time. The first thing you wanna look for is wooden parallettes. Wooden parallettes are goated and you might be wondering why. Well, we kind of talked about it already. It's the grip. If your hands are getting sweaty, well, metal parallettes, they're not gonna absorb the sweat, but wooden parallettes will. So you will get slightly better grip with wooden parallettes. Also, if you're in a cold country like myself and working out outside, well, metal parallettes are gonna be awful to use. They're just gonna freeze your hand. It's not gonna be great to use outside if you're in a cold country like myself. But wooden parallettes, they're gonna stay a lot warmer because of the material they're made out of. So it's gonna feel a lot more pleasurable doing your planche workouts using these wooden parallettes. So that's the number one thing. The first thing is get wooden parallettes. The next thing you wanna look at when deciding what parallettes to buy is the base. So you can get fully wooden parallettes or you can get wooden bases. So sometimes you can get that the bar or handle that you hold onto is wooden, but the base is metal. So there's positives and negatives to both. So with a wooden handle or fully wooden parallette, then it's gonna be a lot lighter. However, when you do things like planche leans or super far leans, or maybe something with a bit more dynamics to it, well, it might be less stable because there's less weight at the bottom of that base. But if you've got a metal base parallette, well, it's gonna be more stable because it's got a bit more weight holding you down. So if you go for a really far lean or something with a bit more momentum, then it's gonna be a little bit more stable. However, the wooden one is a bit easier to carry because it will be lighter, but the metal one will be sturdier and a bit more stable. Me, myself, personally, I prefer the wooden handle and metal base because that's a good combination for myself because I prefer stability over being easy to carry because, I mean, parallettes are gonna be a bit awkward to carry anyway just because of the general shape. So I might as well go for the heavier base so when I'm in my planche progressions, I don't need to worry at all and give 100% to my workout while than worrying about the parallettes tipping over. 
So the third and final characteristic you want to look at and check when buying your parallettes is the handle diameter, or in other words, the handle thickness. Guys, if the handle of your parallettes is too thin, well, you're going to have to really try and clench your fist to get good grip. You're going to be expending more energy to just exert the same amount of force. So you're wasting energy just to clench your fist and get that nice grip around the bar that you can if your handle is a bit too thin. So guys, you don't want a handle that's too thin, but then also you may not want one that's too thick. However, people with bigger hands may like these slightly thicker handles because you can get decent amount of grip. There's greater surface area. So you might make pushing movements such as the handstand push up or just regular push ups. It might make it a little bit more comfortable because you have that greater surface area to push into so it can apply more force. So these thicker handles can be good if your hand suits that kind of style. However, most parallettes generally have a regular size handle, which is about 40 millimeters in diameter and thicker handles is about 45 millimeters in diameter. And I think thin handles, I haven't really come across many, but that would be about 35 millimeters and under. So for the thicker parallettes, that might be good if your hand suits that kind of style, but most parallettes generally, they're around the same diameter, which is about 40 millimeters, which is optimal. That seems to be the best size for most people. So if you're not sure, go for 40 millimeters, but thicker parallettes tend to be about 45 millimeters and over and thinner parallettes, I haven't come across many, but that should be about 35 millimeters and under. The last and most important factor you should be thinking about when buying your parallettes is the height. And that's because the height determines what exercises you can actually perform on your parallettes. And if your goal is one specific move, you might literally be wasting your money buying the wrong parallette that is actually hindering your progress and you don't want to make that mistake. So guys, let's go over the different parallettes, their height and what exercise or skills they're best to use for. Low parallettes. Low parallettes come in two different types. You have the mini and you have the long version, each with different advantages and disadvantages. The mini parallettes are really easy to transport. You can do a lot of exercises on them, such as your push-ups, your handstands, etc., and they're easy to take around with you. These are gonna be really good if you move around a lot. If you're almost never training in the same place and just wanna pop them in your bag, you travel a lot, these are gonna be really good for you. However, they are quite unstable. Because they're so short, if you wanna do anything with a bit of movement, if you want to lean quite a lot, then you may risk toppling over and might have a higher risk of injury depending on what you're training. On the other hand, you have the long version of the low parallette. This is a lot more stable. You feel sturdy in your handstands, handstand push-ups, etc. On the other hand, the long version of the floor parallette is very stable, so you don't have to worry when doing any of your leans or your handstand push-ups. Stuff with a little bit of movement, it's going to be sturdy. However, it can be very awkward in shape and hard to transport. However, the Gornation version of these long parallettes actually come with a traveling strap. This is something that I didn't know I needed until I got it with the parallettes. And this takes all the pain out of carrying the kind of bulkier parallettes out of it. You don't have to worry now about trying to stuff it in your bag, making sure everything fits and it doesn't crush anything. So guys, that's one thing to consider. If you can get one with a strap, that's really advised. It's gonna take the pain out of trying to move the long longer floor parallettes, low parallettes, but if you really can't, you travel a lot, you can't get a strap, there may be the smaller parallettes. Gore Nation has a smaller version as well called the Active Parallette. These might be better for you. You'll want low parallettes over the other types of parallettes I'm gonna talk about if the skills you're focused on are handstands, push-ups, handstand presses, planche leans, planche push-ups, L-sits, V-sits, regular range of motion, hands and push-ups, but these low parallettes won't be ideal for skills such as pulling skills such as the front lever due to that minimal amount of height, extreme leaning skills such as the Maltese or Victorian as there's not enough clearance from the floor to really get into these positions properly. So if you're at that advanced level doing Maltese and Victorians, these really low parallettes might not be the ones to do these progressions on. You might need something a little bit higher. In summary, if I was focused on hand balancing, regular range of motion push-ups, 
and a bit of planche, I would go for the low parallette because kicking up into a handstand, it's gonna be basically the same as doing it on the floor because the height is basically the same. You'll get that nice range of motion with the push-ups, and you can do your planche leans on these because again, they're basically floor height. So guys, if that's where my goals or my skills that I want to get, I'd go for the low parallettes, either the long or short versions. Medium parallettes. Medium parallettes allow greater clearance from the floor, which opens the doors to a wide range of exercises to be performed on them. These parallettes are better for people that aren't really sure where exactly they wanna go with their training. Maybe they wanna do a bit of everything. So these parallettes can be good because you can take them. They are slightly portable, a bit bulkier than the low parallettes, but they're still portable but it can be good for those that don't know exactly where they're gonna go with their training because you can do a lot on these bars, but they're specifically good if an athlete wants to focus on L-sits and V-sits, bench dips, elbow levers, one-arm elbow levers, deep handstand push-ups, impossible dips, L-sit to handstand progressions, planche, Maltese, and Victorian. However, these medium parallettes aren't so good for athletes that are beginners learning handstands as it's harder to kick up into the handstand without fear. But once you get over this fear, these parallettes are basically like low parallettes. And of course, you can't do back lever, front lever, deep dips, and general pulling exercises on these medium parallettes. Again, the Gore Nation version of these parallettes come with a strap, meaning it's gonna take the pain out of transporting them from one location to another because you have this nice strap to put over your shoulder. In summary, I'd buy medium height parallettes if I wasn't sure exactly what skills I might wanna go for in the future, so I wanna make my parallettes last the longest because you can do a wide variety of exercises on these parallettes and they're still portable so I can take them with me. So if portability and variety of exercises is important to you, medium height parallettes might be the ones for you. As well as if you're advanced, you can do Maltese and Victorian on these medium height parallettes. So guys, I don't know if you've noticed, but the parallettes I've used in this video, the Gore Nation parallettes, they tick every box for the characteristics you want to find in your own parallettes when you're purchasing them. So if you are looking for parallettes, these are the ones I recommend because they have been the best parallettes I've ever used. Guys, if you want to buy these parallettes, then check out the link in the description. It'll send you to the Gore Nation website where you can use the code JACK10. You'll get minus 10% off these parallettes, best ones I've ever had. But guys, in any case, let's carry on with the video. High parallettes. High parallettes or dip bars are great because you get an even greater range of exercises you can do on them compared to the medium parallettes. However, there's one big downside is that they're not very portable at all. It's not very feasible to be moving these around. So if you're an athlete that stays in one place, only trains in one place, these might be the parallettes for you. Another huge advantage of dip bars is that these are some of the only parallettes that you can do pulling exercises on and a wide variety of them. Some of the exercises dip bars are great for are deep dips, because you have that extra space, you can get that deep range of motion compared to bench dips. You can train planche on dip bars with a great variety of exercises. So you can do things such as L-sit to planche or planche swings, planche pumps, things like that with a bit more momentum where you need a bit more clearance with your legs to swing, things like that. That can be great for learning the planche on. You can do the front lever. That's all the varieties as well. Front lever pull-ups, front lever raises, stuff like that. And of course you can do the back lever, Hefesto, etc., etc. There's a wide variety you can do on these. You can even tip the dip bar overs and sometimes they can act as decent low bars. However, of course you can't change the width of the handles. So it's a bit difficult. It might be a little bit wide. However, these dip bars can be good if you want a wide variety of exercises and you stay only in one spot. However, the skills dip bars aren't great for are handstand skills for beginners because it's gonna be very high. So you're not gonna be used to trying to do a handstand on dip bars. So it's not very good if you wanna be proficient with your handstands at the start. If you have very low ceilings or using this indoors, then it might not be too great to do a lot of handstand or balancing exercises. You might be better off with the, either the medium height or low height parallettes because you can do a lot more balancing exercises. You also can't use these dip bars for things such as leans, push-ups, things like that. They don't really work well. So then you're just stuck with the floor again. So that's where the either the medium or low parallettes might have the advantage. In summary, I would buy the high parallettes or dip bars if 
I only train in one area and I'm not thinking about moving these parallettes anywhere and I want to train my back a lot using this maybe I don't have a pull-up bar because if you have a pull-up bar and some of the low parallettes then these are a perfect combination but if I don't have a pull-up bar this dip bar might be able to work my back enough where I don't have to worry about that and can get everything in one piece of equipment so if you want to buy the perfect parallette for you that's not going to hinder your progression but it's actually going to help it go to the link in the description to that Gore Nation website and pick the perfect parallel height for you. So now that we've saved you money buying the perfect parallel for you, click this video because now we're going to teach you how to learn the planche saving years of time and energy.